As we all know, SCP-049 is famous for the mysterious pestilence it allegedly tries to cure people from. In our last SCP-049 video, we found out what the pestilence is and concluded that the SCP doctor is very heavily tied with religion, but we didn't have time to go any further. So in this video, we will explore how SCP-049 gained his anomalous powers and try to create a timeline of his life. Before we begin, don't forget to subscribe to our channel with notifications on so you don't miss any of our upcoming exploring SCP videos as soon we are releasing more SCP origin stories of famous SCP creatures. Also, in this video we will be referring to our original Who is SCP-049 video, so definitely make sure to watch it if you haven't already. Seeing as the first part of the theory was 5 months ago, we should probably do a short summary, even if you have watched this video when it first came out. In its interviews, SCP-049 calls the pestilence scourge, the great dying and a cruel judgment, all of which are words normally used in religious context. So we turn to the Bible, where we see that the word pestilence is found exactly 49 times. There, pestilence is used to describe God's punishment for sinners. Coincidentally, the scourge means punishment, and a cruel judgment leads us to the only judgment day that has occurred in the Bible, Noah's Flood. Before the Flood, humanity was sinning rampantly, something we do on a daily basis today, with activities as simple as lying, envying, cursing and many more. One way sins can be forgiven, according to God himself, is through blood sacrifice and SCP-049 cures people by killing them and resurrecting them, similar to the way Jesus Christ died for our sins. All of which leads us to the conclusion that the plague doctor is someone with religious motives, that believes that through the blood sacrifice people involuntarily perform when they are killed by him, they receive forgiveness from God for their sins, and as such become free of sin, free of pestilence. But as the doctor himself has stated, his cure is not yet perfect. His resurrection method that should allow people to live on is not yet perfect, as people either appear as mindless zombies or cannot be resurrected altogether. SCP-049 is very dedicated and has stated that he has spent his whole life in the search of a perfect cure and would do it all over if it meant he got closer to his goal. The anomaly also appears similar to Jesus Christ, as it doesn't necessarily need to eat, as stated in its wiki entry. And the doctor also bared a staff similar to the Savior's. And not to mention, just as Jesus Christ lived to save humanity from their sins, so does SCP-049. So what if SCP-049 is Jesus Christ himself, who has returned to Earth to save us from our sins once again? Unfortunately, this is very unlikely. The event of Jesus Christ's return to earth is called the second coming of Christ and is described in the Bible as an apocalypse event during which all the righteous people go to heaven with God and all the sinners stay on earth to endure the end of the world. And based on the fact that such an event hasn't occurred yet, we can conclude that Jesus Christ hasn't returned as of now and as such that SCP-049 isn't the savior. So could the plague doctor be someone else from the Bible, like an angel, an apostle or a dedicated follower of Christ? Unfortunately, this is also unlikely. All the apostles died before the end of the Bible, and angels are way too powerful to be compared to SCP-049, and any ordinary person couldn't possibly live long enough to be the plague doctor as the Bible time frame ends in the year 95, with the Book of Revelations. So clearly we are dealing with either an ordinary person that was born like any other, and gained anomalous powers through unknown means, or with an anomaly that was created using unknown means, but how exactly? Before we can explain how the Plague Doctor became an anomaly, we first need to see how one becomes anomalous in the SCP wiki in general. And this reminds us of none other but The Factory, an SCP-001 entry that explains how anomalous creatures are created in the SCP universe. 
This entry tells the story of a factory owner that began exploiting his workers in inhumane conditions, and whoever refused to continue was mutilated and tortured. People were used for experiments including sewing arms and legs onto their body, some were combined with animals. Many of these creatures barely resembled humans after they were experimented on. But when the conditions inside the factory became clear to the US government, a special unit was sent out to clear out the place and seal it shut. It quickly became apparent, however, that all the pain and suffering that people had endured there broke reality to an extent, and anomalies had begun to appear inside, just like that. So if we take this explanation into account, that anomalies are created as a result of mass suffering, then we can apply this principle to other SCPs as well. Now let's go back to SCP-049. First of all, we need to clear up a common misconception. In SCP-049's interviews, the anomaly states it originates from 15th century France, so it can't possibly have lived during the times of the Great Bubonic Plague in Europe, which occurred in the 14th century. But this doesn't necessarily mean that the entity didn't endure times of mass suffering. In the 16th century, a very long and deadly civil war broke out in France, namely the French War of Religions, which resulted in a total of 3 million casualties, or about 20% of all the French Kingdom's population at that time. And let's not forget that SCP-049 has claimed to be very well traveled, and in the 16th century, the London Plague took place, which killed over 20,000 people. So it is definitely possible that if the plague doctor was alive at that time, that he went to London to help out. From this, we can conclude that the plague doctor has definitely endured times of mass suffering, deaths and pandemics. If we take the explanation that mass suffering and death causes things to become anomalous, just like in the factory, then anomalies almost definitely occurred during the French Wars and the London Plague. So what if all that suffering anomalously gave an ordinary French plague doctor mysterious powers? What if that same plague doctor had seen so much innocent casualties as a result of the French war, so much sin, that he decided the only way people could be saved was if they all died for their sins, received forgiveness from God as a result, and were resurrected? And what if that same plague doctor, with the help of his newly gained anomalous powers, went on a lifelong goal to cleanse people of their sins, in his words, the pestilence. But what kind of anomalous powers are we talking here? Well firstly, the entity was born in the 15th century and is still alive today, so it must either be immortal, or have a significantly prolonged life. This isn't anything special in the SCP universe however, as there are many other anomalies with the same characteristic so this is definitely plausible. Secondly, in its description, it is stated that its mask and clothing are living tissue, so a part of the entity itself. Here we need to clear up another misconception. Contrary to popular belief, the now famous plague doctor masks were invented in the 17th century, during the third bubonic plague epidemic, and not during the original Europe disease spread. But if SCP-049 became anomalous in the 16th century, then it must have looked as a normal human back then, as such masks didn't exist at that time. So it must have gained anomalous powers once again a century later. And indeed, the 17th century marked a return of the plague, and at least a million people died in France alone. So once again, all this suffering and death probably led to the birth of anomalies. And if SCP-049 wore a mask and protective clothing at this time, which is very likely, as all doctors of that time did, then it could have mutated to become a part of the plague doctor's body, in order to protect him better. And lastly, let's not forget SCP-049's touch, that causes all humans to instantly die. In the real world, many snakes are deadly, but their poisons take time to have lethal effects a few minutes or hours usually. But once again, an anomalous transformation could very well have gifted the already anomalous SCP-049 with that capability as well. 
let's summarize what we talked about. SCP-049 originated as an ordinary doctor in France the during the French War of Religion, which resulted in the deaths of millions, realized that people are so sinned that the only way for them to receive forgiveness is all of them to die and be resurrected. And blood sacrifice, according to the Bible, is the only way to receive forgiveness from God, similar to the way Jesus died for humanity's sins. During this war, the plague doctor became anomalous as a result of the mass suffering and death. Just like SCP-001, the factory originally began producing anomalies. This prolonged the doctor's life, which allowed him to continue his research into successfully resurrecting people, the final piece of his perfect cure. During the plague of the 17th century, he wore a plague mask, just as any ordinary doctor did at that time, and mutated once again due to all the suffering, and gained his instantaneous death touch, and merged with his clothing and mask in order to be better protected. And ever since, the doctor, now called SCP-049, has been on a journey to perfect his cure, so he can cure all people on earth from the pestilence, or as we ordinary people call it, human sin. This concludes the second part of our theory on the SCP-049 history. So what do you think? Did the plague doctor become anomalous as a result of all the suffering and death just like in the factory? Let us know in the comments below. Please make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed the video, and don't forget to subscribe if you enjoy this type of content, as soon we are making more SCP backstory videos on other famous anomalies. And as always, we will see you in the next video.